Welcome to everyone. The Indian Space Research Organization is all set to launch its first mission of the year 2021. PSLV C-51 launch on 28 February. ISRO to launch Amazonia-1, 20 commercial satellites via NSIL. The Brazilian satellite Amazonia-1 is New Space India Limited's NSIL, first commercial launch mission. The ISRO is all set to launch its first mission of the year 2021, and has chosen to launch its polar satellite launch vehicle C-51 PSLV C-51. The rocket will be launching from Satish Dhawan Space Center, SDSC, Shah, Sriharikota at 10.23 am IST on 28 February. However, the launch is subject to suitable weather conditions at the launch pad. ISRO will be launching a Brazilian satellite along with 20 other Indian satellites. ISRO Chief K. Sivan has confirmed the latest launch details and said that the upcoming mission is, special for us, special for the entire country, and is the beginning of a, new era of space sector, reforms. Let's see about Amazonia 1. Amazonia 1 is an optical Earth observation satellite that has been designed, integrated, tested and operated by Brazil's National Institute for Space Research INPE, the research unit under the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation. The satellite is a sun-synchronous polar orbiting satellite that can generate images every five days states INPE blog. It has a wide-view optical camera with three visible frequency bands and one near-infrared band. Amazonia 1 will be used to provide remote sensing data to users for monitoring deforestation in the Amazon region and analysis of diversified agriculture across the Brazilian territory. As per an ISRO statement, Amazonia 1 is New Space India Limited's NSIL first commercial mission. NSIL is a public sector undertaking that will commercially exploit ISRO's research and development work, co-produce PSLV, and manage launches of the small satellite launch vehicle SSLV, which is also being developed with the help of ISRO and the private sector. It is also involved small satellite technology transfer to industry, manufacturing of SSLV and production of PSLVs. Other satellites on the roster. Along with the primary payload on PSLV C-51, Amazonia-1, there will be 20 other satellites launched as secondary payloads. These include one ISRO nanosatellite INS-2TD, four from in space, and 15 from NSIL. One of the satellites from in space is the Satish Dhawan satellite from Space Kids India. The Satish Dhawan satellite, SDSAT, is named after former ISRO chairman Satish Dhawan, according to Space Kids India. The satellite is designed to study space radiation and the magnetosphere, in addition to demonstrating indigenously designed and developed nanosatellite components. The satellite also tests the capabilities of LoRa technology in space which could be helpful for many applications in the future in short and M2M communication, the organization said. Three other satellites from in space are Unitysats. According to a toy report, Unitysat is a consortium of three satellites, JITSAT developed by JPR Institute of Technology, Sriparambadir, Gursasat by G. H. Raisoni College of Engineering, Nagpur, and Sri Shakthi Sat Sri Shakthi Institute of Engineering and Technology, Korimbatore. Let's see about the PSLV rocket. The PSLV is 44 meter high and has four stages with six strap-on booster motors onto the first stage that gives it a higher thrust during the initial flight moments. 
ISRO has developed and used different PSLV variants, including ones with either two or four strap-on motors, or the core alone variant without any strap-on motors. As the PSLV is not a reusable rocket, the first stage won't be reclaimed and it will crash into the Indian Ocean. Thank you for watching this video.